Okay, in terms of security management, we turn to policies. Uh, security policies and a number of uh, policies, but uh, what is a policy? Uh, it's, you know, very often seen as just, okay, we got to have a policy here. But these are, um, well, companies very often have a mission statement. You know, what, what is our business? What uh, is it that we are trying to do? And policies are really the, the mission statements of our businesses. What, um, what kind of uh, business are we in and, and therefore... What do we have to protect? How do we have to protect it? Uh, what are the types of, of protection that we need to have? Um, what are the ways in which we do that protection? Uh, all of these things come under the policies. Uh, policies are not uh, the you know day-to-day -day operations necessarily. Um, uh, although they certainly affect the day-to-day -day operations. The policies are our top-level guidance, our, our uh, as I say, the, the mission statements, the uh, foundational principles um, for how we are going to go about uh, protecting our, our business, the, the assets of our business. Um, it's... It's our foundation for a comprehensive security program. And, you know, comprehensive is, is an important word there. It's, it's everything. The, the policy should give us guidance for everything else that we do. We have a, a number of supporting uh, documents that, that come out of the policy, and, and we'll uh, deal with that, uh, talk about that. Um, uh, a little further along here, uh, but uh, again, um, as uh, I've mentioned before, um, when we get into the uh, issues of uh, risk management, and, and we'll get into that in, in some detail later, um, we're defining the assets that we want to protect, um, and and never forget that that is is something that. Uh, policy is going to define for us as well uh, what are the assets of the organization uh, and and that the organization considers important and and the most important of, of primary importance there so our policies uh, uh, provide us guidance in in that area as well um, uh, what are the organization's goals in regard to uh, security. What are our, well, our goals and objectives, as, as is often stated? Um, what is it that uh, we consider to be our, our primary uh, aim in, in what we are doing in our business, and therefore what is it that we are protecting, and how are we protecting it in a way that is consistent with the goals of the organization? Now, uh, as I say, a, a lot of people figure, okay, you got to have a policy, but you know why? Well, a policy protects both the organization and the employees, well, and, and the customers very often too, uh, from surprises. <clears throat> For example, we have uh, somebody who is, you know, we thought was our, our network administrator, and our network administrator has been, unbeknownst to us, running his own business, using our assets, using our uh, computers, our systems, our networks, our storage, our communications, uh, and, and running his own uh, little website, uh, uh, providing, uh, well, some fairly unsavory materials. Uh, you know, and, and this is coming from our IP address and, you know, eventually the authorities are going to find out about it. And, you know, when we object and fire this person, this person now says, 
uh, oh, you, you know, uh, sues for wrongful dismissal because we haven't actually had any policy stating he couldn't do that. You know, and as far as he's concerned, he's just using unused computer time and unused network time and unused storage. Uh, and, you know, why, uh, why are we firing him? You know, so we need to have the, the policy uh, that says, no, this is, this is wrong. This is uh, not something that uh, is acceptable to us and, and should not be acceptable to, to people. And therefore, uh, no, that's, that's not uh, something we want him to do. Uh, and otherwise, you know, we, he can be surprised when, when he gets fired, and we can be surprised when he sues for wrongful dismissal. So, uh, you know, it, it, we, we do have to have policies to outline this, to outline it for our employees, to outline it for ourselves, uh, to outline it for our customers. You know, what, what can our customers expect uh, in some ways? Uh, and the policy also uh, gives us our authority for the various security activities that we have. Why are we asking our employees to do these things in, in terms of security or in the name of security? Well, you know, our policies and our supporting documents in terms of the procedures, the guidance, the standards... Um, that these things are founded on our and, and justified by our policies there. So, policy is important. It is something that we have to have and, and we have to think about it.